I think there's been a, a change and a shift in the way that the world at large considers bipolar disorder and other psychiatric illnesses. If we can talk about mental illnesses as being brain disorders, that's hugely helpful to many people suffering with the disorders and I like to think that that's part of my role, to destigmatize and in so doing helping people who are suffering from these disorders. You know, we got, we've got beyond the old idea that having a psychiatric illness was your fault. There was something that happened to you or you're deficient in some way. We know that's not true anymore. One of the things I've been very proud of in recent years in my research is the, the steps we've made towards understanding what exactly precisely is going wrong in the brains of people who are suffering from bipolar disorder. We use different brain imaging techniques to actually look inside the brain. And what we have identified is a particular brain system called the reward system that is, is abnormal in its functioning in people with bipolar disorder. And what we have found is that during that anticipation phase, people with bipolar disorder show abnormally elevated activity in part of the reward system. So we're excited about that because it helps us for the first time start understanding how the brain goes wrong, how the brain becomes abnormal in people with bipolar disorder. For the first time, we believe we have an objective marker of bipolar disorder. It gives us a chance, a target for new treatments. Winning the Colvin Prize from the BBRF is such a huge honour, uh, but not just for me, but also from my lab members, all who are extremely hardworking. Being the researcher is about the long game. For me, there is a gratification every day because I know that every day I'm a step towards hopefully helping people.